Britain now has the upper hand over the EU when it comes to trade deal talks, and UK negotiator David Frost can now turn up the heat on Brussels, an economist has suggested. The seventh round of talks between Mr Frost and opposite number Michel Barnier got underway this week, and Mark Littlewood, Director General of London-based think tank the Institute of Economic Affairs, IEA, believes the UK will now go on the offensive. Mr. Littlewood suggested there had been a dramatic change of momentum since Boris Johnson replaced Theresa May as Prime Minister which was now reflected in the team negotiating on the UK's behalf. He explained, I think there is an opportunity for us to play hardball. And the reason I say that is in essence the European Union's only trade negotiation at the moment of any real importance is with the United Kingdom. We are now at last playing the multi-dimensional chess we should have been playing from the outset. Unfortunately under the previous Prime Minister all the focus was on a deal with the EU. Mr Littlewood added, Now I am not saying a deal with the EU does not matter, our trade with the EU does matter. But we have now opened up flanks to try and negotiate a trade deal with the United States of America. We will probably have to wait until the conclusion of the presidential election to return to that. But crucially this will be what is called the Comprehensive and Progressive Agreement for Trans-Pacific Partnership, TPP-11, which is a block of 11 countries with Japan and various others in it. And each of these blocks, the USA, the TPP-11, and the EU, amounts to around 15% of the world's economy. So what we lose on the swings, we might well win on the roundabouts. Mr. Littlewood said the strategy was essentially one of Britain hedging its bets and keeping its options open, as opposed to putting all its eggs in one basket. He added, obviously if none of these arrangements came off then our terms of trade with the rest of the world would not be as beneficial. But we are at last realizing that if we make an agreement that shackles us to the EU, that makes trying to negotiate with the other countries, the 92% of human beings who don't live in the EU, considerably more difficult. Signing up to the EU rulebook would mean less leeway when it came to negotiations with other countries such as the US and Japan for example, and Mr Littlewood said it was highly doubtful therefore that Mr Frost would be prepared to countenance any commitments which shackled Britain in any way.